So in this video, I'm going to try and predict where in Fort Park their next roller coaster will be, what type of roller coaster will be, and when it will open. So I'm going to get into that now. Now, for this part of the video, I actually have two options as to what their next roller coaster could be. And the first option is quite obvious, is an RMC roller coaster and about specifically like an RMC hybrid and I said this in um, a video I did a while back saying um, RMC had announced a new type of R hybrid coaster which is like a family one they could either get that or they could get an extreme one which is, which is the one that's been rumoured for absolutely ages but yes, um, that would be the option, that's, that's actually the most rumoured one been rumoured for years since the swarm opened in 2012, nearly 10 years ago so yes um, the second option I've got is a B&M Hypercoaster and how they managed to pull this off I don't know, I mean whether, I mean obviously Hypercoasters will probably be more, slightly more likely than the RMC because um, Hypercoasters are long sprawling layouts with loads of airtime hills Fort Park doesn't have a coaster like that because they have Soul of the Ride which is supposed to have a scary drop gimmick Colossus with the inversion, Stealth with the launch the Swarm and Nemesis Inferno with the weird train uh, gimmick and then there's obviously Flying Fish, which is the family coaster, and Walking Dead with the indoor coaster. So they haven't got like a massive coaster with loads of airtime moments. But yeah, those are the options as to what rides, what what coasters could be could be built at Fort Park. But when they will actually open, uh, no one actually knows. I'm going to get into that right now. Now, where in the park it could be built? Well, for the first option for the RMC, there's two options. Um, it could either go here on that island behind the swarm, or it could even go um, on the site where Logger's Leap was, or well, is. <laughs> yeah, that's where I'm thinking the RMC coaster could go, but because the B&M Hypercoaster is literally normally Hypercoasters are like long sprawling layouts, the only option um, for the B&M Hypercoaster could be that long stretch of land behind Nemesis Inferno where everyone, basically Monk's Walk, where everyone films the Fright Night's construction update. So that that's the only option where they built to build a hyper coaster, and it could ex it could uh, it could possibly extend from the island behind the storm to Logger's Leap, depending on how big they want to build it. Who knows? But as for when they will be able to open it, I'm gonna get into that now. So now is the final part of this video. I'm going to try and now predict when it could open, when the next coast could open. And this is actually quite difficult because um, Fort Park are always changing managing directors or whatever it is. They're always changing, basically always changing um, bosses basically. And obviously when that comes there's always new ideas. And it's not just for Fort Park, it's for a lot of the million parts. Like say Alton Towers for example. They had a general manager um, from like up until the end of 2019. And they got a new one and basically I think... The first act when when she came in was obviously the wall of David Williams, and obviously that's opens now. And Fort Park are always that, that changing. So depending on whose idea it could build a roller coaster, um, I, it definitely won't be next year because we would have already seen construction. Plus, um, I mean Chessington and or have already announced um, their next roller coaster, and they have actually they're more overdue than Fort Park. So I suspect that Fort Park will get their next coaster just after Chessington, probably like 2024, around that time, probably the year after. Whether it will be in 2025, uh, that's a bit, that's probably a bit more realistic. I'm not actually sure, but around 2024 or 25. But who knows? Um, Fort Park's next coaster could definitely open before um, the London Resort. So yes, yeah, so I want to thank you all very much for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, then please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment what you'd like to see in the next video. Bye!